One day more, another day, another destiny, this never-ending road to Calvary. When I first came to Carhartt Academy, I remember the very first production I saw, I was stunned by the quality of acting, the quality of the performance. Five, six, seven, eight. The one, very intentional instruction three. that had been given to the students and their ability to rise up to meet those challenges. You want people to come to a show and say, I'm different now. The building clearly does not match the talent of our students or the quality of the performances, and that's a major problem. I've been back to visit the school and there's a whole new high school and it's beautiful and I can't believe there's not a new theater yet. Um, <laughs> it's old, it needs attention, it needs work, especially because theater is so progressive. To facilitate that, you need a facility. I was really intrigued to learn that at the time when they were raising money for that building, it was tough financial times. They took a shortcut and I think we've actually have had to endure that for a long time. When you look at the theater, you can see the shortcuts. You can see that it was a building that was put together before anyone knew what would happen inside it. So it's a simple building laid out for any number of uses, but certainly not for a theater use. I mean, it's, it's terrible for theater. So welcome to the Frolicker Theater, built in 1977. Here we are in the East Lobby, we use that term loosely. You can't really call it a lobby because once you get eight to 10 people in here, there's really not a whole lot of space for the rest of the audience to go. This probably won't come as a surprise to you, but the worst feature of this building is that if you arrive late, you have to walk through the performance to find your chair. Take a look at our Yamaha analog soundboard. Most soundboards, the life expectancy is between seven to 10 years. This is 30 years old. Now, our performances are excellent, but let's say they run a few hours. You find yourself squished between two people on a very uncomfortable chair, and you're either too hot or too cold because our HVAC doesn't work very well. This is the girls' dressing room. Often, we have as many as 20 girls getting ready for a performance at the same time in this little space. Some days, we have students building the set at the same time as we're having a rehearsal out front. It's impossible. You can't even, as an actor, go to the bathroom during a show down there because you can't flush a toilet in the dressing room because everyone will hear it. And you can't run upstairs because then you have to go through the audience. And it just doesn't make any sense. So if anything, for your students, please, build them a theater where they can go to the bathroom in the middle of a show. <laughs> we are tearing the building down and starting brand new in the same exact location with a completely new structure. We're opening it up with significant amount of glass so people see what's going on in there. It looks like a lot of fun and they join. The main auditorium, we have been able to shape the space to be acoustically far superior because it will be twice as big, 500 seats. So it's important that everyone has a great seat there's a second performance space, which is much smaller for more intimate performances. And those could be anything from a dance performance, a piano recital, a black box theater performance with the shades down. And then with the shades up, the whole space opens up to Furman Field. It's almost like a Greek theater with the performer in front of the landscape. What we have tried to do with all of these buildings is really foster that sense of a village, that CA is a collection of students and a collection of buildings that all work together and that they're people buildings. So it's another wonderful place for the CA community to be together. In addition to being a community space for our own students and faculty, we also have the ability to host speak lecture series. It'll help us develop new programs like speech and debate. One more time. We're excited about the idea of using this space to share with others and to raise the level of arts in the Denver community. We took this shortcut years ago. We cannot take a shortcut again 
Our students deserve better, and my hope is that the generosity of this community will come through and we will have a space for our artists to enjoy for generations.